And now these are the few grammatical errors that we usually make in our speech. We need to understand that in our speaking or whenever we are framing sentences, which part of the tense that we have to use, whether it has to be the present tense or the past tense, because at times what happens is we use present tense for the past tense. So we have to make it sure and we have to understand the question really well when it says which tense do we have to use. Suppose the question says, um, describe about the journey that you have made or describe about your favorite journey means that they are talking about the journey which you have already done. So that means the tense which you have to use in this case is the past tense. If they're talking about something that is really related to the present. So they ask you which is the favorite movie. So in that case, they're talking about the present moment, that which is a favorite movie in the present moment. So you need to answer that in the present format tense. Don't get confused or don't get really jumbled up with what, uh, you know, what tense we have to use in our speech. Again, used to having, these are some of the common errors that we usually make in our speech. So please try to understand that whatever sentences you are framing has to be grammatically incorrect. Okay, all right, now proceed further. Okay, so when do you use used to word simple past? Can anybody tell me in this batch, uh, when do we usually use used to word or simple past? Anyone? Used to um, could be used in past tense. Uh, like I used to go to a park when I was a small kid or something like that. Right, right. yes, very good, fair enough. When do we use would? I can give an example, like we can use it in future tense, like I would like to visit Singapore sometime in future. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. So uh, we can also use it in past sometimes, um, like, oh no, no, I just missed it. So what is something when we use when we wish to do something Yes. in the future? Okay. And you must have also seen that we also use will. So what is the difference between the usage of would and will in a sentence? Uh, what I think is... you will use will when you're sure about something and would when you're not sure about something. Very good answer. So will we use when we are confirmed about something, which we say is confirmed about something, but would we use when we, we, when we usually wish for something? That is the time when we use would, okay? Now, simple past, when do we use simple past? Anyway, we know we all know that when do we usually use you know simple past. But yes, I mean there's one important thing that we have to understand the time when we use have. Have we usually used in the present tense? We use have with I have done my work. Have you completed your work? We have done this. They have come, they have completed the work. So we usually use have with I, with you, with we, with they. Then comes has. When do we use has with the singular noun? But anyway, we know that I and you is also a singular noun that we have to use, but with I and you, we always have to use have. Has we use it, we use it with she, he, or maybe name of the person. Okay, again, when we are using it in, into a has format. Then coming to the had form, had we use it for the past tense. Like we had completed, like the work has been started also and ended also in the past only. We have completed our work. So again, you need to understand that where you used to have to, where you do you have to use the have, where do you have to use the has, and where do you have to use the had as well. 